Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be detailing the graft acceptance and rejection. First of all, let's start with an autograft acceptance. Now, uh, before I actually start and detail uh, this uh, little bit, I want you to uh, quickly uh, go through this point and uh, think, when don't we have a rejection of a graft? Anyways, let's start. We've got the autograft acceptance. First of all, there's going to be, obviously, the placement of the graft, the placement of these tissues that I want to incorporate into my body. Now, uh, the, uh, the tissues, organs, or cells, by the way. Uh, days three to seven, revascularization is going to be taking place, and this is going to be stable for all the, um, for all the different um, uh, grafts, basically. So this revascularization is going to be very important because with, uh, uh, if, there is no, if there are no blood vessels, then there's no nutrients and no oxygen to supply to these cells, therefore they're going to be dying. So in the days 7 to 10, neutrophils are going to be present, but not aggressive. This is also very important, and this is something that we're going to be able to distinguish between this and the other rejections. Uh, days 12 to 14, resolution is going to be taking place. Essentially, everything is back to normal. First set rejection, placement of the graft is going to be taking place. Days 3 to 7, revascularization to provide nutrients and oxygen. Just like the previous point, without revascularization, we will not be able to sustain these cells. They're going to be dying shortly. So why is what in here? We're in the first set rejection. We're going to be seeing that in days three to seven, there is no uh, response. Essentially, we're not going to be um, no, uh, no nothing new is going to be taking place. This is very important, by the way, because in the first set rejection, if you've watched the previous episode, we know that it's the the reaction is going to be delayed. So days uh, seven to ten, cellular infiltration is going to be taking place that means large amounts of leuc leukocytes are going to or white blood cells are going to be present and they are going to be releasing inflammatory cytokines and lysozymal enzymes obviously we're going to be talking by the way in a later video regarding these inflammatory uh, cytokines and how they affect the cells and lysosomal enzymes it goes without saying so essentially this is where everything is going to be deteriorating for these uh, for this graft days 10 to 14 thrombosis is going to be occurring that means the coagulation of the blood and necrosis and we know we have distinguished previously the difference between necrosis and apoptosis on this channel so necrosis is going to be taking place which is also a programmed cell death that is uh, also going to be resulting in an inflammatory response so essentially in 10 days 10 to 14 a, a thrombosis and necrosis are going to be occurring that is was for the first set rejection let's look at the second set rejection in second set rejection placement of the graft is going to be taking place in days three to seven since our immune since our immune system knows these grafts therefore they're going to be rejecting them faster so in days three to four cellular infiltration is going to be occurring uh, this time it is faster due to the cells being sensitized i'd like to stress on the point and the word sensitized because this is very important to understand why we have a faster immune response days five to six thrombosis and necrosis are going to be occurring so uh, this concludes this episode of uh, transplantational immunology thank you for watching it has been ali from b biology